yep, you know who it is. Same fucking homeless looking guy with his fucking stoner cap. I want to talk about I want to talk about Rotten Records. I mean, they they've been doing this shit for years. Ever since Acid Bath was first put on YouTube. Uh, ever since then, Rotten Records has contributed nothing. They've contributed zilch zero to Acid Bath to keeping their memory alive. They've done jack shit. I don't know if they even still press fucking um albums. I mean that you can get you can get like Acid Bath on iTunes and shit. I don't think you can get the CD anymore unless you got a, a good chunk of change to spend on somebody who's uh, has a used record. But I want to talk about how Rotten Records has fucked itself over by trying to hold on to a to a shitty music to a shitty business model that uh hasn't earned them any fucking money. What other whatever money that they're earning it's it's mostly from it's almost all of it's from Acid Bath. All of the all of the other bands that has been managed by them are failed bands. What does that mean? What does that mean that all of these bands from this from a from all these uh from from these time periods have be have fallen down under, have gotten little to no exposure from Rotten Records and have been left in the dust of time almost completely forgotten if not for them being so kind as to so kind as to put them up on on their channel you know it makes it makes you think that um that rotten records is actually a horrible horrible shitty record label no man is not possible rotten records is the best man no nah, it's fucking garbage Acid Bath was their only fucking cash cow, and guess what? Guess what? They they failed Acid Bath. They failed that. That was their one fucking shot. They could have gotten big fucking dollars from that, but um, no exposure. That Acid Bath had to like give their had to give their own exposure. They had to do their own kind of advertising around their area. Word of mouth spread them. Word of mouth spread them. Fucking um, posters. I don't think they had much merchandise, but like fucking um, bootleg tapes that like went around. And that's what that's what saved Acid Bath, not Rotten Records. And rot and then Acid Bath Acid Bath fell apart, only releasing only releasing two albums, and outside of the name of Rotten Records, some demos. So let's let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. Um. Rotten Records had the chance to get the next new fucking not like not like new metal like Corn. This band would have Acid Bath would have been huge. It could be it could still be huge in the metal archives and people would be listening to them. People would be buying that shit off of iTunes. I bought my shit off of iTunes. I would have bought it regardless of whether it's on like on YouTube or sites or whatever because I want cuz when I was 18 when when I was when I was seventeen and eighteen, every single fucking day for for those two years, I'd listen to Acid Bath when the kite string pops. I listened to that album two times a fucking day. I listened to that two times a fucking day. After I bought it off of iTunes on my on my on my rides to school, I'd listen to that album twice. And then whenever I'd walk my dog, I'd listen to Acid Bath. I'd li I've listened to that fucking album more times than I've eaten food. No, but I've listened to that album lots of fucking times. That album... That album... Influenced uh, some of my songwriting for, like, my lyricism. Like, the, like the abstract kind of style... Like not not abstract, but the surreal kind of style that Dax Riggs uses. He doesn't want to do metal anymore because he's a big boy now, and he's too he's too big for metal. I'm Dax Riggs. I'm Dax Riggs. I'm too I'm too cool for metal. Oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I might strain my angelic throat. Oh, I'm Dax Riggs. Ooh, look at me. I'm so cool. Ooh, I'm Dax Riggs. Ooh, I'm so spooky. Hard. Right, hey, look, look. I'm fucking with you. But. You, you see, you see these fucking, 
How how old? How old do you think the people behind Rotten Records are? They gotta be at least fucking 50. Almost. They've gotta be around fucking 50. You're getting old, Jack. You're getting old. You're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Your motherfuckers is turning fucking geezers. I'm a fucking young one right here, though. I'm fucking young, and y'all fucking crying and some gay-ass shit. <laughs> it's fucking weak. All of your, all of your bands... Not your bands. Bands who you've tricked. Bands who were in, like, who financially needed help. Who, who they, they went to you guys for exposure, you know, help fund uh, the recording of albums. That, that's what I expect. That's what you should do, at least. I don't know all the details. I'd have to imagine that they were getting something out of being with you fucking old pieces of shit. I have to imagine that they're getting something, but uh, clearly not fucking enough for all of these bands. I've heard, uh, I forget this other one, I forget this other band, I forget what it was called, it was one of your more recent videos. They weren't the bulldozers, or what were they called, I don't know. I like that song, whatever that fucking song was, it was good. <laughs> and I don't know what the fuck is up with that band, there's nothing, I... I don't know. I don't. I haven't heard of them before. I haven't seen any of. I haven't listened to any of their songs before. Shit. Maybe if. Uh, maybe if you put more of the songs on your channels. Hey, maybe if you showed people the fruits of your labor and that you're not actually like fucking a, like a fucking failure. Maybe you, show, you showed people that your bands would be more successful. And guess what? Oh, it's on iTunes, and I know that all of the songs are good. All of their songs are good, so I'm going to buy them off of iTunes. But you didn't do that. <laughs> you didn't fucking do that. Y'all's a f bunch of fucking faggots. I think it's just I think it's just one guy. I think it's just one fucking bitter old man who's like eating fucking hungry man meals at the fucking microwave every fucking night. <laughs> Because he fucked up with acid bath. His only chance. That was your only fucking chance. And you and you still fuck up every chance you get to like to redeem yourself. You decide no, I want people to pay for the album. I want people to pay for the album. I paid for the album, and you know why? Because I listened to every single fucking song before I bought it. I I was like, holy shit, this is fucking amazing. I'm gonna buy the whole fucking album off of iTunes so I can listen to it every day wherever I go. Listen to fucking Acid Bath. I became obsessed with that fucking record. <laughs> I keep forgetting to buy the rest of their other one, but, uh, I mean, I, I got other shit to buy, and I haven't, I haven't listened to the songs, I was like, cause, like, I listened to Acid Bath so much I burnt myself out, but I am planning on getting the, the second album, t uh, Pagan Terrorist Tactics, but, uh, yeah, you guys, you keep, guys, keep, the songs are up for right now until like the, the fucking old guy who runs Rotten Records is like, let me see what's on the YouTube. People stealing my song. I'm going to make them pay. <laughs> and then he fucking like takes down all the fucking videos because he's a fucking little sour faggot. <laughs> If he wants to, hey, if he wants to be, if he wants to be sad about it, that's not my fucking fault. He can be as sad if he fucking wants. I'm not. I'm fucking. I'm. I'm good though. I'm good though. And you know, yeah. And Adi, the bass player from Acid Bath, died. So you know, maybe it would be, maybe it would be good if um, if somebody, if if his uh, what was if his legacy could live on and people could, you know, pe people could um figure out how he how he played bass you know P figure out the model you know it, you you guys could have i think you guys could have preserved uh, hey what gear did they use i mean i think they would have if they would have but fuck it i guess that doesn't matter but the point is like Adi's like Adi the bass player his legacy is uh gone nobody's nobody's taking up for from what from what he did nobody's uh, playing bass the way he does yeah, like they're like if you listen to Mayhem, that kind of sounds like like Acid Bath's bass, but not quite, not quite. And uh, it's, Acid Bath is really fucking obscure, and uh, they're gonna they they've di they've they could very well disappear. I mean, they they have disappeared. But uh, guess what, Rotten Records, after you're dead, there's gonna cause like you're in like twenty years, you're gonna get really old and uh, you're gonna forget how to fucking eat food, and then people are gonna have to plug you into a machine. And guess what? Nobody's gonna be able to take down. You're not gonna be. You're gonna be too old to move your fucking ancient fingers. 
to fucking flag vi to fucking flag videos of people posting acid bath songs. And guess what? Acid bath will live on without you. That's right. People, I bet I I bet people have like all the information about acid bath saved on drives, files, and shit in their memory, whatever it has to be, they'll save that shit, and that will live on without you, despite all the shit you fucking done to destroy Acid Bath. And you know what? I don't think it's a greed thing. I think if it's if it was a greed thing, you'd find a better business model than what you do, where you act like a fucking faggot to everybody. I think I think it's fucking. It's not greed towards money. It's greed towards acid bath. You want acid bath all to yourself. You want it to be like, uh, look at look at my achievement. You base your achievement on the achievements of other people. Look at all that I've done. And uh, you haven't fucking earned it. You didn't do shit. <laughs> you ripped those bands off. Who are the new bands that you're managing? Who are the new bands? Who's the who what's what's the hot new band that Rotten Records is going after to to make their to make their own to like to drive into the future, to propel into the future of music? Um no nobody. <laughs> no nobody's nobody's having it. Cuz the nobody's fucking I mean the and the ones that you're trying like I don't think they're going to be successful because uh, you don't have the fucking touch. You're not, and people who are successful, they're not gonna go with your faggot ass when they see what you've done. Nobody's fucking interested. <laughs> like, you're gonna, you're gonna fucking die broke, and you're not even gonna understand why, because you're too fucking dense. That you fucked, that you fucked yourself over, that you fucked over the fans of Acid Bath, who are the reason that you fucking get your three squares a day. Nah, you know what? I think you got a fucking day job. I think you got a fucking day job, and that's that's how you fucking get your get your fucking food, motherfucker. Cause uh, looks like your business failed, your business fucking failed, or else you wouldn't have this fucking you wouldn't have the fucking trouble of trying to scrape up every fucking penny, which still which is which only cements your fucking failure, which only cements your the the patheticness that is your life. So, you can try to kill Acid Bath. Acid Bath's not gonna die. I've got them in my memory. People got their albums. People remember- people remember the shows. And that, that- I've seen them go after, like, take down the, like, the show videos, like, the- like, the concert footage. I've seen them take it down. They can't take down all of it. They know that they have to give people a little taste or nobody's gonna buy their shit. Nobody. <laughs> Who's gonna, like, spend the time, because, like, YouTube's, people use YouTube a lot. Are people, like, going around iTunes looking for new music? That's not what people are doing. People are going there, people are going to iTunes to get the shit that they know. And guess what? People don't know Acid Bath, so people aren't gonna buy Acid Bath off of iTunes. All thanks to Rotten Records. Hey, faggot, good job! You destroyed your own fucking life! You destroyed your own career! <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. And it's all your fucking fault. So y'all can be sad, y'all can be faggots, bye-bye.